Crip here. Run it here. Yes, I think <laughs> they're gonna run with that, I guess, right? I mean, I, I don't know any better. They just want to skip it. Yeah, they just <laughs> always want to skip. Uh, but uh, I guess there's a bit to skip here. Uh, we're gonna end the video with a bunch of cool clips and stuff uh, that we did in the Bahamas. But uh, before we leave you guys to that, we want to give you guys basically the the index. What's yeah. what's on the menu today? Just. And a few thoughts of um, of us, uh, like regarding the trip, the house, like how yeah. we, we thought things were here, uh, things we found funny here. I don't know. Yeah, and cool stuff like that. And um, it's kind of like a continuation from the last vlog video. And if you guys like these, tell us. Ramya screens the comments like crazy, so uh, she she will know if you guys actually like these videos or not. And if you do, you know maybe we'll make them more of a regular thing when we go out, which isn't all that much, but who yeah. knows? Maybe <laughs> maybe that'll change uh, in time. So we did arrive here. Yes, we arrived Eventually. like very late, like midnight. Uh, yeah, it was about midnight here. Uh, just a total waste of time in the airport, but whatever. What can you do? We've, we've had worse when it comes to at least delayed flights. But everyone seemed so happy that we were here. And I don't mean Blizzard people or Hearthstone people. I mean, pretty happy too. Yeah, sure. But I, I mean before that, like airport people. People are just, you know... Yeah, I don't know if it was his welcome job. Welcome to the Bahamas. Do you think it was his job? It was his well, job, but he, he Was he actually wait. a welcome guy? Yes, but he doesn't wait. Okay, so it, it seems like there's a guy in the airport in, in Bahamas and when you arrive, he just says, welcome to the Bahamas, to just about everybody. And it sounds like a really stupid thing, but airport being like the really cold and, and sketchy places they have become in the last few years, it just it felt really good. It was like the... I actually think he was like a some tourist something guy, because mm. he also had a bunch of uh, like tourist guides or pamphlets or things you could do here. So I think yeah. it was like a tourist advisor. Maybe, but anyway, the it just made such a good first impression. It seems like an invaluable thing to have with all the wasted money in big companies these days. That seems like a very small touch that could make a big difference to how people perceive their, their entry into the country, I feel. So that was pretty cool. Uh, then we got to the resort. Did we do much the first night? Uh, no, we just uh, grabbed something to eat in the only place that was open. Look at the snacks. It's late, yeah, the snacks place. Uh, Next place has the best fries. Met up some some Hearthstone people. Yeah, yep. yes, they do have the best fries. And we had our first fruity drinks. So the process oh, here is like okay. you go up to the bar. It's it's an all inclusive resort, so you don't generally like Mostly. everything is. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so like everything is generally included in in the package. So you just go and order, right? And the process is least for us. It's like. You go up to the barman, you try, you open your mouth to place an order, and if you take longer than like two seconds, so the barman senses that you're indecisive, he's like, I'll make you something. Okay. I know what you want. I can sense what you want. And so we let them make us like fruity cocktails. Yep. And every time up to like the third day that we were here, everyone was best, was better than the previous one. Um, they had to start low, I guess. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, what what are the top? The top two in the end were fruit. Uh, is it fruit delight? No. Oh my god. It's one an one. it's a, one called Island Delight. Island but delight. here they make oh. it basically vegan. Uh, they don't use cream or uh, ice yeah, cream or anything. Had, they just use the other ingredients. I had ingredients a few, and, and, I, and, I, and I looked it up. I'm like, oh crap, this stuff again. Where I had something that's so good and it was non-vegan. Because uh, supposedly the drink has like ice cream and cream and something else. It, it was vegan. Like they, yeah. they made it in front of us. They just no mix a bunch of booze. It's their yeah. their like. Uh, it's like white rum, black rum, vodka, grenadine. And There's some red thing. Or that yeah, grenadine. Oh okay. And I think orange juice. Yeah, I think so. It's good basically. You, you can try it at home. It's well, recommended. Well, the thing is, if, 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 if they try it at home, they're probably not Legal trying what we had. That's the, that's the yeah, thing, right? Yeah, you can, can try that without the ice cream. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's They also it is. made us something that they, they called Man on a Boat, mm -hmm. but we never found it online, so I'm guessing it's their own invention. That was also good. It's possible that the Island Delight is totally their own invention as well, it just happens to be the name of another actual drink. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I saw what they were putting in it. This okay, it is, it is actually Delight, very yeah, close. Just without the cream. Okay. And I gotta say, guys, we're happy people, right? Whenever, whenever you see us on stream, we're not drunk. We're actually just happy. Okay. I wasn't that happy, but they were still saying I was drunk. Yeah, but 
we were not drunk. Like we had okay. two of these drinks six hours before the stream. You could even I drive. Just, yeah. Like with that amount of alcohol. Guys, legally. Tavern brawl this week was sad. I was sad. Okay, it was a sad experience, and I we was like. We got the weasel. No, oh, yeah, the weasel. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So, yeah, we uh, just. Walked around. We ate a lot on the first couple of days. We oh, tried no, to get, days. yeah, to get, um, to spend some time with people. To spend some time at HCT. He got some duels. We watched a bit of the tournament. Yeah, we can talk about the tournament if you want shortly. Um. Uh, so as of this recording, Pavel has won the world one extra pack. It's not mm -hmm. bad. I think he's still in it. So hopefully, he keeps doing well for our packs at least. <laughs> I learned that, uh, who was it? Mm, Tari. Yeah, Firebat bet on uh, Teray. Teray. And uh, at the time, again, at the time of, of this recording, Teray was two for two for the packs. So maybe there were a few Firebat other... Firebat knows something. Yeah, he knows something. But we did uh, we did the Challenge Stone thing. And that was fun. That was very fun. We, 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 did, we did all the production with like an hour and a half setup. So I, I don't know. I think it came up quite well with that consideration. I think, like... Ixer had fun, Trump had fun, they said A little so. bit less fun. Actually, to Froden my understanding, slightly like three times less fun. <laughs> I think Froden had the most fun of all. Because he got to, to First craft. ruining. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's pretty good. Like Fogger or something. Yeah. yeah. But most, most Hearthstone people who came, they were just kind of busy with that stuff or just stayed in that area. On one of the nights, we played like board games and stuff. But we no, participated. Not, not people. Some Hearthstone people. I guess. I don't know. Because some are not this busy. Yeah, I don't know. But overall, it was cool. Uh, it was made way cooler when we got free shit. So this is this is this round of free stuff. It was like a duffel bag. That is a really really nice duffel bag. It's like jean material. It's like what's it called denim. Uh yeah, it's kind of denim. Mm. Yeah, it is denim. It yeah. is jean material. It's just a different color. Mm. And that's really good because we needed the extra space. We got a bunch of us big things. And what do you have over there? We, no, no, no. Before that, we just we just have to say that at least until now, um, I think it's maybe the best production. At least, uh, judging from comments on Reddit and social oh. media and stuff, I think it's the best production so far they've ever had in like an official Blizzard event. That everything like went smoothly and I don't know, like it sounds like a sponsored comment. No, really, sponsored comment. I read Reddit, okay? People were saying good things. Sponsored comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Show the cool but, things. Yeah. Okay, we got cool things. We got okay. We were on the beach one day, so we we heard something really loud. So we just turned around to see what was or happening. And there was a guy with this. Mm hmm. And this. Whoa. Whoa. This one is actually bigger, even though it's actually closer to the camera. It's, we, it's actually bigger. <laughs> we will not spoil that clip because it's very fun. You mm -hmm. will see it, but. There's a few clips regarding these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but these, these are these are conch shells, conch shells, and these are the ones that you blow into, supposedly. Mm -hmm. And um, you eat them first. Yeah. If you're not. Well, no. The, the 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 one I was holding, apparently. Oh, that's poison. Yeah, you don't want to eat that one, but you eat the other one. But that is like the, the most common food here, like every conch place. Conch salad. Like, yeah, con conch salad. We, ha I we haven't, haven't tried had it yet, yet. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe yeah. by the time we leave. Anyway, so they're they're practical and they're pretty cool, and you can you can blow them theoretically. I'm not going to attempt right now because we're indoors and it's uh, a little bit late, I guess. <laughs> but uh, you can see the rest of the video to see how that I adventure went. I actually went. think I heard someone blowing a conch shell like, like ten like minutes ago. Ten minutes ago yeah. from some room around here. Yeah, I think so. Like too. either that or they have a pet elephant or something. Oh uh, like yeah, yeah. Pets. Uh, oh, pets. pets. Yes. So. Our doggies apparently are having a great time, yeah. even though they're without us there. Like, we, we, they don't miss us at Dexter all. misses you, apparently. Dexter misses you, like, a few points. Yes, but he's not, like, depressed, you know? Yeah, when, when it's just me and Dexter, he is just depressed. He doesn't really care that much. So we, we, are, we were shopping around for new pets, and we considered <laughs> dolphins, mm -hmm. which apparently are as cool as dogs, and you can, like, they're train them. They're very much like dogs. You can, they're, like, what, happy and stuff. Like if you can't get a dog in your apartment, try a dolphin. Yeah, it could work. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, well, we have a few clips from that. Like we got to hug dolphins. We got to get kissed by dolphins. 
cute stuff. It was quite an adventure. Uh, it was it was like a trip out, like a total like trip out to an island. Like we took like a bus, like twenty minutes bus. Then you take the boat, like thirty minutes boat. And it was a, like the the last two days have been very windy here, mm -hmm. like really windy here. So we were a bit worried about the boat trip, but I think it was like in between islands, yeah. so it was it was fine. Some... And that's that's the reason we're not recording this like yeah. outside. Yeah, we wanted to really record this on the beach or something, but you can't hear anything. Some of the uh, tour events were actually cancelled, but the dolphin thing was was a go still. Yeah. So we're lucky to that. Um, we have like a personal submarine thing tomorrow, but. It, there's, there's no filming in that at all. It's not a personal story. So we're basically going to wrap up like, this video as the Bahamas video, right? They put something in your head and you, you go and look at fishes. Sub, it's basically... Summer scooter. Yeah, it's basically something between, yeah, scooter and scuba diving because we are completely clueless about scuba diving. Mm. We do that, so it's like you don't need training. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're going to see how this turns out, but I, I doubt that we can get like decent footage. Yeah. And even if we could... Usually they don't let you get food. Yeah, but the big yeah. thing was the dolphins, it. and it was like, like I said, 20 minute bus ride, 30 minute boat ride, I think. The boat ride is really cool, especially on the way back. We got like front seats at the, the top row, and it was really And nice. we also got to see a bit of the city, which, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty yeah. place. It's not like everywhere nice, but it's, it's I think it's interesting to like just yeah. take a peek. And the yeah. island itself, the island the dolphins were on, they had different sections, different animals, different stuff. It was like, it was like the the tourist trap where they like just take all of your money for like <laughs> really really small things, like um, I think it was like yeah. ten bucks per photo that only they were allowed to take of you while you interacted with the dolphin. Yeah, but that that's the kind of thing you expect in these kind of places. Like, yeah, yeah, tourism is their industry, and they do a good job. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a nice place. The Bahamas overall have been uh, I've been pleasantly surprised. And uh, hopefully the footage that we have for you guys shows that. And more. Least, There's a few least little least. weird things. Yeah, a bit there. entertaining. Yeah. Or if we make you at least smile, yeah. if not laugh, because some of them may make you laugh. Hopefully, <laughs> apparently they will. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Hope you guys check out the rest of the video. A lot of cool clips. Uh, if you have a lot of money to waste, uh, Bahamas is a pretty nice place to do it. It's that feeling when Crip is better dressed than you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Really? Hmm. Let us know. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Put the lips on it. What's, what's the technique? Of... It's like, don't put your hand in there, it's the first thought. Because okay. you're going to interrupt the sound. Okay. So, okay. Good. all right. Lips in, soft lips. Pucker them. Don't separate the lips. Mm -hmm. You're not blowing from the diaphragm. Mm -hmm. You're just using the lips. Okay. So, watch. Yeah. Just lips. Hold on. Got to be on the line. Okay. Right. So this guy's Don't separate the lips. Point them up when you go. No, you got your lips separated. Mm -hmm. Tight lips. Mm -hmm. On it, but put it soft. Tight but soft. Right. 
Okay, you got the lips right. Okay. But when you put it on, it just pucker it a little bit. Look. Give me your lip in there a little bit. Right. Okay. Soft in there. Right. Let it rip. That's a retarded moose. That one's easy. Let me blow that one. Watch it. Watch this. People are gonna hate me now. That's okay. They're gonna hate I'm me. I'm shameless, don't worry. No, I mean in the resort. Watch out. Oh, I see. <laughs> This is the easy practice area, okay? Nose is complicated, it's got curves and shit. Practicing right now, okay? Practice. God, it smells. Why does it smell so much? I should probably do my neck and stuff, huh? The back of your neck. The back of the neck? You're spoiling it, okay? I'm supposed to figure it out. This is a learning experience, okay? Very greasy learning experience. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Did I do a good job?
shark? Oh, the salt gets in your eyes. It's not as good as I thought it would be. It's actually the saltiest water I've ever had. Maybe it's because you are in it. It's like a bunch of specific 